Today on Creatively Bambi, a flavor boost for your food. It all starts with this, a bulb of garlic. This little beauty can do so much for the things you eat every day and what's more, it's really good for you too. I'm gonna show you how to do it and you're not gonna believe how simple it is. This is a secret for restaurants and chefs all across the world. You're gonna learn how to do the exact same thing. Here's what you do, you take your clove of garlic, you're gonna get a cutting board and you're gonna cut off just the tip of the garlic, just enough to expose all those bulbs in there. All right, just like this. See that? It's a little messy, but no big deal. All right, once you get that top cut off of there, you're just gonna set it on a piece of aluminum foil. You probably have this at home already. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna get some extra virgin olive oil, and you're gonna pour it all over the top of this bowl, just like that. If you have some salt and pepper on hand, you can definitely grab that, sprinkle some of that on there as well. I typically don't do it. I salt the other ingredients typically that I add this to. So, with this bulb of garlic, you're gonna wrap it up just like this, like a little present, all right? You're gonna tighten that top, just like that. This is all you do. You're gonna put it into a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go do that and I'll show you what it's like when it's done. All right, so this is out of the oven. We've let it cool for about 15, 20 minutes, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside. All right, check this out. It's nice and brown and kind of caramelized, so it changes the flavor of the garlic. It's not like as pungent as what you might expect garlic to be, but it does have all kinds of flavor. Now, to get it from this to being more edible and easier to eat, you're just gonna pop off these cloves. I'll just show you how to do it with one, but you can do it all at the same time with the whole bulb. But with this one clove, you're just gonna squeeze it from the bottom. And look at that. All right, I'll do it one more time for you. Super easy to do. What do you do with this? Once you have it all done, well, there are dozens of things you can do, just to name a few. A lot of people will make garlic bread with it. You can mash that up with some butter and have your own garlic butter, it is so good. You can use it in place of mayonnaise on bread. I would highly recommend, kind of start it into some mashed potatoes. So delicious, so yummy. Try it out, it'll change the flavor of your food and give it a big boost all at the same time. And even better, it doesn't cost a whole lot. Thanks for checking in with me today. I'll see you next time.